right, guys, name is Tyler, aka Nanogenics, and today, a bit of a quick one, but I still wanted to cover this really fast. It looks like, finally, as you can see there by my much shorter tweet, but let's go ahead, let's check out Team Delkiner here. So, translate, good news, everything seems to be unlocked for the arrival, finally, of Super Dragon Ball Heroes on the global side. Super Dragon Ball Hero Heroes World Mission and its portal should be the next events on global to take conditional as usual, as long as it's not clearly indicated in-game. So, basically, um... What he's saying there is is this should happen but don't i guess get too terribly excited over it but team dokener is usually very good i mean in times we we've covered leaks that these guys have put out they pretty much been exactly spot on um the biggest one of course last year 250 million dollar celebration that was like like literally everything they said was spot on so this finally um which i talked about it a long time ago that i i figured now that world mission was over and released worldwide we'd be getting something like that so that not just take up too, too much of your guys' time today, but uh, just to go over it really fast, it basically means a free-to-play uh, Great Saiyan number four. It's beat that Dokkan awakens into Great Saiyan number four. Then we got Oms, which is the crazy crossover, like, fusion of hit, Goku Black, uh, Full Power Frieza, and Super Perfect Cell. And so those are both free-to-play coming from this brand new, um, how many stages is it? Eight stages. So a fairly decent amount of Dragon Stones from that as well, which is pretty dope. And, uh, and then also be able to farm up, of course, um, the free-to-play units that we just spoke about. And then I have to imagine that everything from these banners that Global has missed out on so far will release on the Global side as well. So that basically means you're going to be getting all of these, all of these, and it'll probably just be this summon right here where these guys will be featured. And then everything from these banners will basically just be in there as well. What I'm assuming, I don't know that's 100%, obviously, um, the true sort of Super Dragon Ball Heroes world mission crossover is just are just these units right here, which this guy has Dokkan Awaken, uh, Sealess, and then so does Great Saiyan number three. And then all three of these also got Dokkan Awakens from the release of the world mission crossover. So uh, both the Goku family support and the Vegeta family support, uh, Vegeta and Goku, did not get Dokkan Awakens, but they're actually still really good without them. So I have to imagine, though, even, even though that this is probably the banner we'll get, it will still include all the units from before. So people that I know, one one thing people are really excited about are probably Supreme Kai, I mean time, and then also the SSJ3 Xeno Goku and SSJ3 Xeno Vegeta. And in all honesty, with even all of these, the only one that I don't really ever use is probably the Mira, but I use this Demigra a ton. I still bring in the Black Mask Saiyan a lot and I bring in the Dark Mask King. So um, there's a lot of stuff here that is actually usable that's going to be really really nice to finally have on the global side so hopefully this is all going to come together hopefully team dokener is on point with this and i feel like a lot of people are going to be super excited about this finally coming to the global side so anyways guys if you want to be here for when all of that does hopefully drop and we do summons and maybe some gameplay and all that fun stuff you might start going down there right now hitting that subscribe button joining the hashtag nano fam today but like i said i want to try and keep this video short sweet to the point so guys have a great day keep on keeping on nanogenic sign off and i'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.